I wasn't actually going to make a response video to this because it makes me look like I care. I'm responding to pixels on a screen. Before we get into me making my points and me, I'm not even going to say defending myself because I couldn't give a f I don't even care about defending myself. I think this shit's hilarious. <laughs> This shit is jokes. Like, I had a damn microwave stuck to my head. Do you know how many people are gonna remember that? In comparison to, do you know how many people are gonna remember that news article that said, man stole toy from a shop, gets a fine. I'm pretty sure this story is a lot more interesting than your, than your everyday read on another website. Which is why you're all clicking it and why you're all reacting so much because it's fucking bizarre. Let's face it, you not you don't see this every day. I understand why you're freaking out and I understand there's probably other few things that you're probably mad at which I'll get into to another point in the video I'm screen recording my laptop so you guys get an insight of what's on my laptop I'm gonna go through and click through a few news articles that have been writing about me which is basically every fucking news article in the UK Australia New Zealand fucking Belgium literally every main media outlet has covered this subject like your mom covers her acne with concealer so we're gonna dive right in just by you typing in microwave this is a top story. That's when you know you've done something right on YouTube. Firefighters were left seriously unimpressed after spending an hour freeing a YouTuber whose head had been cemented into a microwave. Apologies there guys, didn't mean to piss you off. I suppose it was a fun day at work though, wasn't it? Guys, I'd like to take this moment, yeah, this is directly from me. I appreciate every effort you went to to free me from that thing. You don't know how grateful I am. I was so scared. You comforted me. You made me feel so much less stress. It was just, you guys are awesome at your job and so were the paramedics. I appreciate you guys a lot. We're gonna have a scroll from our Twitter now. This part gets funny. I'm glad I'm the person I am because if this was anybody else getting this abuse, yeah. Jeez! You'd probably go through depression. Look, what all I have to do to stop the abuse is this. Done. Sorted. Katie Hopkins. Removing the ironing board from his ass was even harder. Don't understand what the fuck you mean by that, Katie. Suck my left bunion. She looks like she's about to serve a school dinner. Fucking dinner lady at the primary school. Oh, and here she is again. Dinner lady looking ass. KSI tweeted me. Oh my fucking god, that is actually hilarious. Jay, you're an idiot, but I love you, man. Big up, KSI. On a real level, I feel like I've I genuinely got a connection to this guy. I feel like I have something from the heart with this guy. The plan was literally, dude, to set my head in there, but not let it set completely. Because at one point, it was like a thick jelly. I could keep it on my head and I could move the microwave about standing up. But if I really wanted to, I could pull it off and it would slide off because the polyfiller was kind of like a thick jelly around my head. So I thought, oh, 10 more minutes won't hurt in here. You know, I don't think that was enough content for the people. And obviously, for it for the 10 minute mark for that mad revenue. So I left it 10 more minutes, but the heat from my head going out into the polyfiller solidified it a lot faster, a lot faster than I thought. It's it's actually blown up. Press are coming to my door, my friend's house is asking where I am and if my friends can get me to the house to do interviews for the fucking news. It's not that deep, it's not that deep. Literally, as soon as emergency services are involved with something, the press love to get on that shit because they know that their newspapers or their media source online such as Facebook, Twitter or their own websites or even their apps. It's literally directly presented to an audience that is so triggered by anything that is to do with emergency services. Actually mad. That's what gets them clicks and it's working for them. They're great at their job. Big shout out to you Express and Star. Big shout out to you BBC. Big shout out to you Sky News. Big shout out to you Daily Star. Big shout out to you Daily Mail. Big shout out to you The Guardian. Big shout out to you The Independent. This list goes on for fucking ever. Literally that spotlight is so strong I've got a fucking tan on my eyebrow. Okay, a big conclusion and a big answer back from me. This whole scenario has had five different responses and I'm gonna go through each one and kind of give my opinion on each one. Some of you are right 100%. Some of you are fucking that small minded. My wrist has more enthusiasm than your IQ. So, a lot of people are saying this is where our taxes go. I'm gonna break something down to you right now which is it's probably gonna shock you. It's probably Probably gonna make you realize a few things probably not because you know some people you actually can't shut down a lot of people are like broken laptops you know and the power button doesn't work that's what a lot of people are like and they're so stubborn to their opinion it doesn't change because they don't like being wrong just like me 
right now. But it's an opinion, guys. No one's fucking right. No one is right because none of this is fact. This is where our taxes go. Okay, I'm gonna read out a statistic that I had to work out myself earlier with a calculator and some help from Google. Roughly 0.0002p of your yearly, yearly enthusiasm on the yearly earnings went into this incident, which is about 0.0000005 pence a day from you sat at home if you're a full-time employee. 0.0000005 pence a day. That's how much this incident cost you. You earn that by blinking. Drunk driving, drunken fighting accidents, drug abuse, piercings, or even prank calls to emergency services on the other hand cost you a lot more. Where are your tweets about that? Probably nowhere because you don't base your opinion off your own mind. You base it off a top comment on Facebook or what the Guardian have told you. I wasted emergency services time. No, I didn't because I was in fucking need. I would have died without them. This was self-flicted. They shouldn't have helped him. So was your piercing infection that you had to go and get treated at the hospital last week. But what if somebody else needed the help and these guys were wasting their time and somebody died? That didn't happen. Take a seat over there in the reception area and stop hoping for a worst case scenario just to back up your view on this situation. Guess what, guys? It didn't happen. He should be fined. Literally, 100%, I should be fined. And I'm expecting a fine. I don't know whether this is gonna happen or not, but I'm expecting a fine. And I'm more than happy to pay it. And I'm more than happy to donate my money to the people that helped me that day. I should definitely be fined, just like the people should who get into drunken fights on a weekend and have to use the emergency services time. You are ridiculously stupid. 100%, and I'm very, very sorry if you didn't like the video. But there's plenty more videos on the channel that you can go check out right now that's probably not as controversial as this and it suits your your preference a bit more. But yeah, I'm gonna round this off there. Hope you're all having a great December. OBD goes on sale tonight at the tgfstore.com, 9 p.m. So make sure you go cop some stuff. It's limited edition. Just thought I plugged that right in there. But until tomorrow, guys, um, peace.